Hello guys, I'm Alessio Mancinelli and today we are gonna learn how to build a chatbot for Telegram using Teleton Library and Python. This is a demo, so we will be building a chatbot that responds to some commands. The first command is the start command. So if we send the start command, the bot will actually say what he can do. Now, if we send the time command, for example, he will give us the date and the time. If we send the weather command and uh, we must specific a uh, city uh, for this command, for example, Rome, the bot will give us the weather forecast for the city of Rome using some API that we will see later. So, for example, the, uh, the actual uh, weather in Rome is overcast clouds, for example. Then we will be building some uh, something very very interesting and funny so for example if we send the quiz command the bot will give us uh, a, a quiz so a question for example 3 plus 7 is of course 10 now this is uh, of course a very simple uh, question but for example if we said again slash quiz 6 plus 10 is 16 slash quiz 10 plus 5 is 15 and again so this is what we will be building before we can start writing some code we must get the api id and the api hash from teleton for using inside the teleton library now to get both of them we must follow the instruction at this link so open this link and follow the instruction and you will get the api id and the api hash now the next thing we will need to have is the bot token and we can get that by writing to the bot father uh, contact inside the telegram so just search at bot father like this and then follow the instruction there to get your bot token the last thing we need is the uh, weather forecast api and we can get one of those inside this link so open this link and follow the extraction. This is an example of uh, a request for the city of Rome, this uh, URL here. So we must concatenate our API ID and the city that we want to get the weather forecast. Now this is an example response and is in JSON format and we are interested in the main weather and the description. So inside our code, we will get the main, um, the main field and the description field that are inside the weather array. Inside your folder, just create a file called config.ini and insert this code inside the file. Now, this code is setting all the configuration variable that we will need um, inside our Python file, which is called script.py. Dot, script dot this is the weather key, and of course you can get one at this link. This is the bot token, and you can get one by writing to bot father. And the API ID and API hash, you can get both of them at this URL. Now, this, um, this string are, are of course, for example, so don't write this string, but uh, write the one that you get on those link. Let's create now another file called script.py and inside this script we will put everything that we need to build, to actually build the bot, which is the code written in Python. The first thing we must do is to import all the libraries that we need. The first library is Teleton, and if you don't have Teleton, just write pip install Teleton. You can, of course, install this library using pip. The second library is the config parser, and we will need this specific library to read the config, the config file that uh, we um, wrote uh, before. Now we will always we will uh, we will need um, another library which is random and this library will be used to generate random number for the slash quiz uh, command 
and lastly we will need the date time library for of course getting the date and time of today and then the request the request library to get um, the information of the weather forecast the next step is to access the credential variable that we defined inside our config.ini file so we specific the config using of course the, uh, the config parser library we read that file and then we get all the variable that we need which are the api id the api hash the bot token and the weather api using of course this um, the syntax once we have defined all the variable that we need, we can create the session called session master for the Teleton library. Now, just create a folder called session and inside this folder, our script will create another file called sessionmaster.session. Now, with this client um, uh, variable, which is a variable that uh, is created by Telegram client, we can set all the uh, command that we need now we are starting this session with our bot token and this is uh, uh, very important because uh, we are using uh, this session as the bot now just create uh, um, our first uh, command which is the slash start command and uh, the first thing we need to do inside this event is to get the sender so who is calling the slash start um, command we then define our text which is um, which is very very simple quit spot ready yeah, you can uh, write of course this um, this command this command in whatever uh, way you want and then we just send the message using the sender the text that we that we specify above and our parts mode which is html and so we can get them um, for example this um, this tag to actually work the next command that we are defining is the slash time command as always the first thing to do is to get the sender so who is writing that command and then we define the text and inside the text we get the date time from from now so we get the date and the time after and then we just send the the message using the client.sendMessage method and inside this method we set the sender the text and as always the parts mode which is html the next command is the weather command which is more complicated than uh, the other now the first thing that we need to do as always is to get the sender of the message then we must work with the input text that the user send which for example will be slash weather new york now we must select the city of new york to get the uh, the weather forecast for that city so the first thing we need to do is to get the text of of the message with this syntax then we must parse the string of uh, of the input in a list and then we get the first um, the first element of that of that list and on so we just get new york and then we must uh, return to a string and not uh, of course as uh, a list so from New York, from the list New York, we must get the string New York with this syntax. Now, we, the next step is to just uh, define the base URL, URL for the Open Weather API, and then we must complete the, the URL using our base URL, our API, our API ID, and then the city that we define here. Then we must get the response in the JSON format, and then we we are going to to using a get um, request using of course our complete URL, and then we parse that response to JSON format. As we saw 
before, we are getting this response, and then we are interested in the main field and, the de and in the description field, which are, which are inside the weather um, array. So what we are going to do is to get the, um, the weather array, the first element of the weather array, and then the main field. And then we do the same thing for the description field. And then we, uh, just, um, we just compute the text which are cu currently the weather in the city that we are defining is the, pre the, the prediction, which, are, which is the field main, which is the value of the field main, more specifically, the description of the weather forecast. And then we send the message. Now, we must put an if here, because if the user sends um, a city that is not supported by the API, we must send an error message, which in this case is, I couldn't find the city, of course, that you specified. This exception is um, very, very useful because if the user just send a slash weather uh, command without specifying a city, we must um, respond to uh, the user with an error message which in this case is insert a city after this, the slash weather command. Now, if we want to try our code, we just start the, um, the script, and then we can go back to Telegram and just write slash weather. Now, we didn't specify a city, so the bot is saying insert a city after, after the slash weather command. Or if we, for example, um, e e input the slash weather and a city that, of course, doesn't exist, uh, the bot will say, I couldn't find the city. Or, for example, if we, if we write slash weather New York, we get that there are more, there are some clouds and um, the description of the weather forecast is overcast clouds. I forgot to mention that before we can start our script and using our bot with the command that we defined previously, we must insert the main function and then call the client dot run until disconnect so the bot will actually work. The last command that we are defining is the slash quits command. And now this is the actual game um, that we will be played um, against the bot. So the first thing to do is to get uh, the sender of the message. And then we start a conversation with the client, which in this case is the bot itself. The first thing to do inside this conversation is to get two random number using the randint uh, method. So we get two random numbers between 1 and 10. We then make the sum between these two numbers and then we make another sum based on two another random integers um, which, which will be our second option, our wrong option. The next step is to define our keyboard which will be our button option. So with this syntax, we get the 50% chance of entering the true condition and the 50% chance of entering the false condi condition. So if the condition is true, we get the, uh, the real, the correct answer on the first button. Otherwise, we get uh, our correct, um, correct answer on the second button, which is here. We then set the text of uh, the message which is quiz time and then we get the two random the, the question so uh, first random numbers plus second random the random number is and then the the user must select one option we then we then send the message inside this conversation so this is a very important step because we are not using the client um, we are using the conversation to send the message and then we get we must wait the press event of the user 
so we don't do anything unless the user select a button. Now, in this case, we are using the press event method, which is defined here. So just copy this function, and um, so you can uh, um, you can wait for an event for the press event of the user of the user. We then uh, we then after the user select and press a button, get the choice. So in this case, the, the choice will be the actual, the actual sum of the two random integer or the wrong um, of the, or the wrong answer. So based on what button the user is actually pressing. So if the choice that the, uh, the chooser made is actually equal to the right answer, then we send the message correct answer otherwise we send the message nope i won lastly we can we cancel the conversation and we um, and we return so we just exit this um, this conversation so guys the video is over thank you for watching and um, if you want to clone all the code that we made in this tutorial you can go to my github account which is called riseku and then you can go to the repository called Quizbot YouTube. Of course, I will write the, the link in the description so you can clone the code. So in this um, uh, repository, you can, of course, change the config.ini file with your credentials and then execute the code uh, on scripts.py file. Of course, if you have all the library, all the correct library installed, the bot will actually work. So again, I'm Alessio Mancinelli and thank you for watching.